Hi everyone, today in Rosie's Reviews, I'm going to be going over two different umbrellas that I ordered for my July wedding. So having an outdoor wedding has its tricks. Um, it's going to be hot, it's going to be over 100 degrees, especially where I live in desert area in Washington state. It gets pretty sunny and pretty hot. It's not humid, it's very dry. And because my guests are going to be outside, I just wanted to buy some umbrellas for them. Um, so the smaller one, it's plastic and it's a child's umbrella, but it could be used for adults. It ha had a lot of great reviews online of people that had bought them for weddings. And of course, you have this one that's the paper umbrella. It's more flat. So if you're worried that people won't see when they're sitting one in front of the other, uh, this one would be the one for you. It is larger. It looks more elegant. The only downside is that it it is a bit pricey. So you get a lot less for a lot more in price. Uh, not a lot of umbrellas come in a box, but it does cost more than the plastic ones. And in case of a rain, you cannot use the paper ones. You can only use the ones on your left side, the plastic ones. But here you can see the difference in the two. They both cover the sun. They're both easy to uh, close down if you need to close it down after the ceremony is over. Um, but I just wanted to have these umbrellas. They were not necessary. The ceremony wasn't going to be that long. It's just like a 15-20 minute ceremony and since it's going to be outside, I just wanted to have it for my guest. And it actually turned out great because I was late for the wedding. I was the bride. I was late. Things don't come out as you planned. So it's best to have something for guests to do. And my guests had the umbrella so I was safe. Even though they were in hot weather, they had some coverage. I also had a few fans from Oriental Trading. So both umbrellas are also from Oriental Trading. So I used them both um, so my guests could either choose to get an umbrella or a fan or get both. And of course, it serves as a keepsake as well for them to have after the wedding. So I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Home Goods, and I was just trying to find a container for the umbrellas. So now that I chose an umbrella, I had to get something, a container. And I had a cute um, container from Home Goods, but unfortunately, it didn't fit. I needed something wide, and it just didn't work out. So I returned it, and I got this one from a friend of mine who had it and who used it as a recipient for like cans beers and she just put eyes and put all the sodas in there and it worked out well so i borrowed it from her and decided to give it a try and see how i liked it so what you had seen previously is that i was stuffing it with tissue just plain white tissue paper and once you stuff it the umbrellas lay really nice and the stuffing is not necessary but it's just so they don't slide in there and once the guests come and pick up their umbrellas they don't have to worry about leaving that empty space there and the white tissue fixes that so you had white, white tissue and i was also thinking of doing white tool but i just decided the white tissue worked i didn't have to go and buy tool so that was the plus and as you can see i was laying out the umbrellas and all those come i paid around 130 dollars the other plastic ones were all like 120 for like double the size so in this one I had I invited about 150 people and I want to say that all of these it was a total of 50 um, were gone so I don't know if there was any that were left over people that didn't have any um, they I mean first come first serve so if you're first to the wedding and you will get an umbrella so that's what happened so I wasn't too worried about that if people came in later then I mean they didn't get an umbrella but of course they weren't there on time either so it's fine so this is how it looked. I, you can also make a cute sign online and put it next to it. Something romantic, something cheesy, and something to do with an umbrella and heat and the wedding. I didn't do that because it was very last minute. I didn't have time. I just was still deciding if I wanted to do anything else for the wedding. I was thinking of doing flip-flops for the guests, but decided against it because of the price. And just, I didn't feel it was needed. Um, so I just decided to do this for the reception so it looked cute on video and it looked cute on camera. And this is the end result. So this is how it was going to be laying by the entrance by where people could see uh, my wedding name or my name, spouse's name, about to get married. And they can go grab an umbrella and cover themselves from the sun. The only thing I did not have was waters. I didn't want to trash around so I just didn't have water bottles. I hoped that people were... Um, hydrated enough brought their own water bottles but this is how people were 
getting their umbrellas. All right, guys. So I hope my review has helped you guys decide if this is something you want for your outdoor weddings. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Rose's Reviews, and hit the bell for notifications um, to um, be posted on any future um, videos that I'm going to be doing from the wedding, about the wedding, and just anything that I do. All right, guys. Well, hope this review has helped you guys.